Hello friends, my name is Shivam from DevOps Schools and I will help you to enable your learning process in various technologies of DevOps, artificial intelligence, machine learning, big data and many more. This is our initiative to help you by sharing multiple tutorials and videos. And if you want any specific tutorials or any particular topic, then please do comment in the below comment section and I will help you with it. Also, please subscribe to our premium services on YouTube, which will give you access to more content and videos to enhance your knowledge about all these topics. Also, if you want me to help you with regards to the online trainings and classroom sessions by our qualified trainers, then do please do write me at uh, contact at devopsschool.com. Thank you. Okay, so I'm just going to stop it. All the containers and remove it done. OK, so I was talking about how to share an images. So here using the tarball you can share using the public repo you can share using the private repo also you can share an images. So like artifact and nexus. So these two demos I'm going to share with you. So first I need an image which I would like to share with you. So let's get started. So do we have any images? So if I see that here in the my re local registry, I have so many images. This image I'm taking as an example. So let's say this is the images which I wanted to share with you. This is the images which you wanted to, you know, get it. So how can we create a tarball actually? So here I'm in the root location. So I'm creating a tarball. So Docker save and save to what output which file? So tarball and the file name can be anything and then which image this image. That's all. So it will create one uh, tarball. And then this tarball you can push it to any 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 ways uh, like FTP SSH SAP and all stuff like that and you can share with other people now other people if they receive this tarball Okay, what he has to do so that I am doing manually. So what I'm doing right now I'm deleting this uh, Image from the my local registry because I am acting like another person who has received this tarball So what are you going to do with the tarball? So you are going to load this tarball input I and I'm loading the image size was very small. So it got loaded and you see here this image has come. OK, so this is one of the simplest method if you want to uh, save that images uh, in the tarball in and and you want to save it then you can do that. OK, now second method what we have is public repo and that one of the public repo is uh, hub.docker.com though we have so many public repo as well like uh, uh, google registry is also public repo ecr aws ecr is also public repo so there are so many repos we have uh, which is public basically but uh, hub.docker.com as we know that is the most popular one uh, and uh, private also let me tell you public and private both the steps will remain same only the difference is the url will be changed here so in the private repo you'll have to use the full url whereas in the public repo you have to use only the uh, register repository name that's all so what to do now so i will write the steps uh, so it will be easy for you to do that because this is something which you have to do yourself also and whether you have created an images or not this is the proof i will get it so you're you're going to share all of your public repo repository url with me in the chat window so this is a very important for for all, all of us Okay, so these are the steps. I am going to write it. So first thing what you have to do uh, log register and Validate your account at uh, hub.docker.com this simple. So there's a it's a free account It's like a github you get a free account you anyone can register it. Okay now here Then you have to create a repo create an empty repo just like a github also you create a repo right create a repo at hub and now let me tell you here one private repo is free here and one public repo uh, and unlimited public repo you can create it yes unlimited public repo you can create it free so here one private uh, uh, repo is free plus un unlimited public repo is free here okay so this is the one so this is the second se second step after that what you have to do uh, after that you have to have a image image so here make sure your image your local image local image repo name must match here i am saying must match i said must match with the with the repo name repo name of hub 
that is has to be done. OK, and after that Docker login. And Docker push that's all. So this command I will this that's all Docker login and Docker push. So these are the five steps you have to do uh, out of which this one you have to do these three steps you have to do in the uh, in the your uh, system and these two steps you have to do at the hub.docker.com. So now what I am going to do is I am going to reg uh, register accounts, but do I need to register? No, because I have accounts already so you can do it. If you don't have if you have it, you can use existing one also. That's not a problem. So right now hub.docker.com is the place where you can register account sign up and all stuff like that that I'm not going to show you because you know that I know so sign in I'm directly going to sign in. I have stored the my user ID and password here. So directly we I will log in. So this is my user ID and this is my password sign in. OK, so step number one. I assume it's done for me. Step number two. I am doing it for now. So here. Create a repository. I'm creating a repository. Now what repository I'm creating here. So here I'm creating a repository. Let's say fav and it's uh, it's a doc. Cube some some unique name has to be there. Remember your whole repository name is DevOps schools slash uh, whatever the name you have given. So it's a different name I've given. You can put the description public repo private repo lots of information you can fade it. But right now I'm not doing it and create it. So step number two is also done. OK, so this is also done. You see this is your this is the private view. The one which I'm showing you is a private view. If you want to see public view means that the person the anyone can see it. You can click on it. So what is my repo name? So here this is my repo name. You see that this is my repo name. So is it matching which Im which image you want to uh, which you want to uh, send it? So let's check it out. Uh, let's say I want to send this image. It's a pretty huge image. I don't know who has created it sent to us multiple file, but I'm going to send this image. So the name of the repository is it matching? No, it's not matching. So what I'm going to do Docker. Tag. And which image? Let's say this image. I'm going to take it. It's a pretty huge. And copy. That. So you see this image which is in local I'm tagging with a different image that one which is expected. Now if I see that here see here this image and this image it is same image but that named named repository name is different. That's all nothing else. I did not duplicate the content is just a, a tagging. I mean it's just a referencing the links same image same image ID. So now what I'm going to do I am going to docker login. So what is username? My username is DevOps schools. And password is. That I'm not going to tell you. And I logged in. Uh, and there's a. Bad password, so I'm just checking out why it is. And you see here login succeeded. So this is succeeded now. Uh, the um, the login has had completed. Now what I'm going to do Docker images here. Now Docker push which image this image. That's all. Now you're pushing it here. Done guys. So now can I go and check it out now anyone in the whole world those who wants this image he can get it and pull it and then he get it. So this is the way we should go ahead and check it out. So now lots of functionalities you have here at the hub.docker.com and most of these uh, are self explanatory. I don't think so you will get stuck anytime uh, but yeah you can check it out check it out here. This is a private view the one which I'm showing you right now. It's still loading actually. Here now you want to see the public view. So right click and open up the new URL. 
see a few few seconds ago I got posted it and open up with a new URL this is the one so now anyone who in the whole world those who wants my images he can pull it though the images can be private also one images you can keep it private also one repo and that has that is free but more than that one uh, you'll have to pay for it so this is how it is right. okay so now you can understand that these are the commands which i tried to showcase the demo to you and this is the stuff which you have it any questions guys so far any questions but it looked like that uh, the, the url for docker hub is somewhere that is default because you just give uh, the yeah. repository name it, it automatically identified that bit on uh, what URL so it why it is happening that's a good question actually so docker info if you do that here is a hard coded this is the registry is hard coded so whenever you put that you uh, skip the url that will be taken but if you want to hard code the url what you can do uh, let me log out first Okay, I'll log out now log in and then give the full URL HTTP whatever you want to do that. So in your case artifactory, let's say 10 dot 5 dot 5 dot like this. There'll be kind of this thing name of the images. Make sense. So you, okay, if so you do I, the log first I have to log the first I have to log into my uh, private or local artifactory and then if I do push from there, then it will go to that uh, the huh. private artifactory. No, no, no. The, uh, this is the way you log in, and then uh, after the login, what will happen? You will get a Docker push, and then whole URL you can give it like this. So your repository name itself uh, will become a URL actually, will become a full okay. URL. But okay. if you want to see, if you want to hard code this path, you have to modify the Docker uh, uh, configuration, and you hard code this one. So if you hard code this one in the repo section, then from there onwards you can use directly in the name. That oh, means your default uh, registry will become this one. Sorry. Right. It's like that. Just so you have to embed the password. By the way, let me tell you here. If you want the complete tutorials on the artifact side also, so come to the reboschool.com/blog and uh, type something like artifactory, artifactory, and enter. And here you find multiple things like here you see Docker private registry using Nexus, how to set up Docker registry using in Artifactory or Nexus also you'll find it here. So many things here, here you can find it. You can try it out in offline hours. Any other questions, guys? Okay, so the task is very simple, guys. Task is very simple. You have to do this step number one to step number five okay apart from this this one uh and you have to in the chat box i want the 15 urls uh and that url should be yours uh, where you have uploaded your images along with that you can access our other tutorials such as docker ansible jenkins terraform splunk aws azure and various other devops related premium tutorials with our channel membership if you would have any issues with our channel membership, you can drop an email to us at contact at devopschool.com or you can also unsubscribe from channel membership anytime if you don't want to continue or did not like the video. To get our channel membership, click on to the join button, select the 3D99 plan and grow your skills immensely. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries. We will reply to them at the earliest. Thanks for watching.